petrol heads. This is a story about a lovingly restored Jensen Interceptor. It's a 7.2 litre V8 Mark III. Philip is a car enthusiast and an electrical engineer who lives in Centurion, Pretoria. He likes to fix up classic muscle cars. The Jensen is his fifth project and took about two years to complete. This is a 1974 model and was picked up from a deceased estate. At that stage it had been in storage about 20 years. Philip was looking for a car that he could drive every day. So some changes were required to improve the performance of the Jensen. In this video we'll take you through some of the essential mods that were made. And after that we'll take it into the country so you can see how it goes. for everyday driving is to have good fuel economy. Whilst the original Carter carb was excellent, it can't compare to fuel ejection with electronic control. So a fuel injection conversion was done. This was based on custom components and a mega square 2 ECU. The carburetor and the distributor that would be sitting over there has been removed and has been replaced with an electronic engine management system. On the air supply side, an Edelbrock throttle body with four barrels which open successively was added to an Edelbrock performer intake manifold modified to accept fuel injectors. A pulse width modulated idle valve and there is a throttle position sensor. This throttle body determines the amount of air that is fed to the engine. So if you uh, step on the throttle, you can actually see the primary throttle plates opening and if you really step on it you can see the secondary throttle plates opening as well. Fuel supply comes from a 5 litre surge tank with an embedded fuel pump additionally fitted. This feeds a generic fuel rail. Fuel pressure is controlled by a vacuum modulated fuel pressure regulator. The fuel injectors are fired in batch mode, first left side then right side and the vanifold vacuum is used to determine the fuel requirement. A wideband oxygen sensor has been fitted to the instrument cluster to observe the effectiveness of fuel air mix. This tells me what the actual air to fuel ratio is that is measured in the exhaust. So right now it's saying about 12.5. Which means Spark timing is also controlled by the Megasquirt 2 ECU. Spark energy comes from two full post EDIS ignition coil packs. Firing is handled in wasted spark configuration and the ECU uses manifold pressure and RPM to map to spark timing. A crank position sensor was fitted to the crank to provide 36 to 1 sensing. Here's Philip's impression of the conversion with the ECU and fuel injection. Fuel consumption on the open road is about 14 litres per 100 k's. Starting is very good cold start is positive and the engine is very powerful at low RPM. Okay, now let's talk about drivetrain modification. The original Jensen Autobox had three gears with a final drive ratio of one. This gives excessive revs at typical highway speeds of 120 km an hour. So the auto box was upgraded to a GM 4L60E. This is a four speed box with a final drive of 0.7 to 1. This box has had a physical parts upgrade from Monster Transmission to be sure it can handle the torque from the huge Chrysler V8. This transmission is electronically controlled using a Megasquirt GPIO running MS Extra firmware. As part of the control scheme, it has torque converter lockup which comes in at low speed. And the controller changes gears at low RPM so that the engine throbs along at about 15% of throttle. At highway speeds of 120 km an hour, this V8 is doing 2000 RPM. And the end result? Philip says, I have a radio, but there's no need to listen to the radio because I've got we get to take you on an early morning ride into the nearby Mahalisburg Mountains. The Mahalisburg is a well-known secret around here. It has miles of empty roads and lovely views. And we're going to show you what it's like to drive this Jensen and to have a Jensen drive by from every possible angle. So here we are on site, communing with nature. In the morning it's deserted and very peaceful. There's Philip. Okay, make a noise with your car. Yeah, baby! 
Amen.